My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. Howdy, viewers. Brad with Pride or Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. As I progress to 100%, I realize that I have to also progress the main story missions in order to activate certain things. And part of that is I might post videos of missions I've redone. But based on experience, I am now doing that mission in a different way. This one is called Further Questions of Female Suffrage. Very long title. And this is where Sadie Adler is introduced to the player and becomes an essential part of Arthur's life. So let's get on with this mission. And again, I played it a different way than the last time I played it and posted the video. I'll leave a link to my old video in the description. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm going to kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm going to kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down or you could be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. <clears throat> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Okay, this is where Arthur takes Sadie into town, and they have a kind of cute interaction conversation over Mr. Pearson's letter. And you can hear the conversation when you play this mission and drive Sadie to town. This is also where I did something a little different. I'm going to fast forward to that part when they get into town. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Last time, I just went and got the mail. This time, I'm having Arthur follow Sadie into the store. And you can see a different event. Fine morning today. How can I help you, miss? It's missus. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, 
flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. Big family, have you? Something like that. And you so close? We do. Not the widest range of ladies fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course, Mrs. Kilgore. That shows that Sadie already understands what kind of gang life is about and using fake names, etc., prevents people from being suspicious. And she seemed very confident in what she did. So, yeah, Arthur goes and gets the mail and then comes back. I'm working. What is taking you so long? Listen, lady, I got it all in this wagon there. I could train my goat to do this faster. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Hop on. I'll be right with you. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh. What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! go. Shit. After these major battles, there's always that desire to go back to camp, the other characters urging you to hurry up, hurry up, don't. 
It doesn't affect anything. Loot all the guys you can. Get as much money as you can. And anything that you can sell. I mean, you're passing up great opportunities whenever you have a major shootout and you don't loot the other guys. And that's the problem with some of the major shootouts. Someone comes riding along, sees all the dead bodies and you looting them. Well, you could end up being accused of murder. This guy just passed by. Yeah, I don't think he cares. Ah, a bunch of dead people, some dude looting them. Whatever. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, watch it. Yeah. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled wide, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of followers. Not a chance. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Don't go too close to the water Arthur? here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Here. I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it in your camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, I picked up a storybook for Jack at some point and decided to give it to him after the mission. Well, that's um, further questions on female suffrage. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.